We're doing the drama. We'll do the drama, okay? You guys want to see a drama? Hey, let's go. Okay, come on, give me hype. Drama Gunner, yes. We love drama. Oh my god, drama. Great. You're the drama guy, huh? We're doing it, all right? <laughs> I got the hottest tea, guys. You're gonna wanna buckle down for this one. This one's crazy. Where to start? It was a cold fall evening. Not a mouse was stirring. The house was brisk. Festivities were in the air. Thanksgiving was among us. This is a bad start. It was Thanksgiving time in the fall, about three weeks ago. I was enjoying family time. It was a nice day. I look at my phone and I check Twitter and I have a lot of notifications. I don't typically get notifications on Twitter. I'm not very popular on Twitter. My audience is on YouTube and then you guys are here with me on Twitch. But I was getting a lot of notifications and I was like, what's going on? I go in and I see somebody added me in a tweet. I got this tweet from Derek K. Graz. I'm giving you two options. Pick wisely at Gunner Klein. You have 24 hours to accept my boxing mash or I'm gonna drop the greatest hit single on your fat ass. I am Derek Graz. Yes, bitch, call my bluff. Your viewers are all six-year-old Roblox virgins. I went over this with chat, I think like two weeks ago, and we kind of left it at this. Don't say true. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you guys aren't six. So yeah, I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I saw the picture and I was like, oh, okay, this guy. Now, who is this guy? If you're a fan of the channel, you're gonna be like, oh, Gunner, that's not a video that you have. Because it's not on my channel. This is a video I did with Jake Doolittle, our, our lovable guy right here, that we did on his channel. So I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did he at me? <laughs> And also, more importantly, why did he censor fat? Is he super progressive to a level I can't even comprehend? But uh, you know what? At the time, I said, I'll call his bluff. <laughs> I wrote up a response and then I'm like, none of my audience is gonna see it anyway. So screw it, let's just let it rest. And let's see what happens. Nothing happened, but we'll look into what even got us here. Cause I was very confused. Cause it did pretty well. Then I started getting, uh, okay. And then we'll get to this too. His audience is like, they're just like bullies calling him gay or, and then he's calling me a fat ass, like whatever. And then I got some other DMs at the same time. I got a few. This guy said, say some shit about Derek Graz again. I dare you. We are right here right now. You fucking McLovin ass nerd. What's good? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And then Said, not gonna lie, you a bitch fight my man's Derek before he diss your ass and end your career. Thanks for that one. And then Ryan said, you a whole bitch for real. You messing with the wrong MFs, dog. You still got time, but your career about to be over if you don't accept, pussy. So yeah, so I started looking into it. I was confused what was going on, why he tagged me and not Jake, and why was he so vitriolic? What was going on? And why did he call you guys six-year-old Roblox virgins? More importantly, I was out to defend you people. So I started looking into it. Now again, for those of you that don't know, me and Jake made a video reacting to him. Not even my idea. I don't know who this guy is. Jake said, I got a funny prankster guy that we can react to. I said, sure. If you haven't watched the video, you can watch it. It's on Jake's channel. I think it's pretty funny. We just kind of watch him do these pranks where he goes into college lectures as a fake DoorDash person. He like throws food on his friend. It wasn't great. Like the pranks are like, no one really cares. It's not that funny. That's my main criticism. Like it's just not that funny. But that's so, really it. Like we're just kind of lightly clowning on him. So. Today, we're going to be talking about someone named Derek Gray. Graz. Have you heard of Derek Graz? Chauvin? No, sorry. No, I haven't. No. Very good joke, so Gunner. Derek Graz. So that is our background. Derek has been banned off of Twitch and Instagram, and he has a YouTube channel. He does pranks on. That's what we got. I'll just go to like the highlights or whatever in this video. We watch him spill food. I make my critique that I wish his pranks were more subtle. And then there's another part here, which I think is pretty funny, where we just kind of comment on the fact that he's banned from everything. I got my first strike on YouTube. I'm banned on Twitch. I lost my Twitter, I'm banned on Tinder, I'm banned on Omegle, I'm banned on Omi. <laughs> oh my god, how? You're doing something wrong. <laughs> how is that possible? I'm banned from Italy, I'm banned from banks. I can't fly, actually. <laughs> yeah. I'm only 17. This is sick. This is definitely the life I want to live. <laughs> I'm showing you that because I have to say is fucking crazy. <laughs> he is banned from every social media platform except YouTube. And he has a strike on YouTube. I don't know what he did. I imagine he's done something wrong. <laughs> That's what we're working with, okay? That's the video and we had a tweet. Jake messaged me on Instagram and says, have you checked Twitter? I said, yeah. It's my only notification. He says, Derek is live right now reacting to our video. So I go over and hop on to Derek's live stream to check it out. This is what his YouTube looks like. 31K subs, nothing huge, but he has like a cult-like following. Pretty weird thumbnails and uh, videos here. A lot of like teenage horny shit. He's only 18, so like, you know his audience. I had e-sex on stream. I think the puzzle pieces of why he might be getting banned on certain platforms is starting to come together. But uh, that's what he does. Let's go to the live stream. All right. That's him? 
Jesus. So something I need to, maybe I don't need to preface. He's kind of like very much like I show speed. Even his audience like makes fun of him for that a little bit. Yelling into the camera, loud is funny. Half ironic about everything he says because he's just like not a real person yet because he's 18. Watch Jig Dot. Yo, go fuck yourself. Say it to my fucking face, they can't look. So what he just did right there was someone was telling him that, <laughs> that Jake has made a video. Someone named Jake Doolittle has made a video that says, how to throw your life away at 17. That's the name of the video. And Derek, either for comedy or because he's stupid, thought the guy was just messaging, you threw your life away at 17. He says, fuck you, dickhead. It carries on. How to throw your life away at 17. Bro, go fuck yourself. <laughs> Stop talking. Stop talking. Fuck off, bitch. Fuck wrong with you, bro. Look, immediately the, yelling. Again, this is half trying to be funny. I know it is. It's a persona thing. He's 18. That's what the other streamers his age are doing. I get it. No, I'm a huge fan of the title of the video. Bro, all right, bitch. You know what? Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait, bro. And he's like, hold oh, on. Well, let's check it out. So yeah, he finds the video and starts watching it. Me reacting to this as if it's serious would be a mistake. Because again, as I said, he's like half a character and half not. But when the pranks he does affect real people, then it's like, all right, well, that shit kind of stands, right? I don't really care if he's being a goofy person in his own living room as long as he's not hurting anybody. Although he did call me and Jake fat and gay the entire time. So like maybe not getting a homophobic face would be good. But like, you know. It doesn't really bother me too much that he's doing a character. The other criticisms are real. Like, I don't want to just go up against someone who's a character. It's not fun. Everything I say is he can just like deflect with like, oh, you're taking it too seriously. Also, that Roblox Virgin tweet, I know that's a joke. Like, I know that's a joke. He's trying to be funny. Okay, so this is the type of response you can expect from Derek Raz on our, which again is a comedic video. We're not really making too many criticisms for the most part. I'm name to Derek Graz. Have you heard of Derek Graz? Chauvin? No, sorry. No, I My great Chauvin no, joke again. <laughs> so Derek Graz, he was a Twitch streamer, and then he got banned off of Twitch. And then Bitch! Fuck wrong with you, fat boy! Fuck wrong with him! And he gotcha. moved on to Instagram. And then very funny, yelling and immediately calling Jake fat. Very funny, very great humor. It's great because it's funny because he's yelling as loud as he can. That's the funny part. We've barely said anything about him. In fact, we said, do you know who Derek Raz is? No, I haven't heard of him. And then he yells and calls Jake a fat boy. This is who we're dealing with, which I guess, him. you know, everyone's fat compared to him. I think he's like 5'8 or something. That's not a diss on Short Kings, okay? I'm just saying, kind of weird that he calls everyone fat ass. Instagram. And bleeps it out on Twitter. Cap, bro, I got my Instagram back, bro. Get your fucking story straight. Cap, he has the Instagram back. Hey, Good for you, Derek. Yo, why am I famous? Why am I famous? Why am I famous, yo? A lot of times he just doesn't hear what we <laughs> say correctly either. TikToker with like. You know what, Gunther? You know what, Gunther? Still yelling. Not enough, like ironic about that. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Give him a break. This is not it, bro. Oh, he's driving Are for him. That's funny. Boy? Yes, go. I'm driving. Yo, how do I, Steve? So. <laughs> He doesn't hear things right. What Jake just said. Which is not it, bro. Oh, he's driving Are for him. That's funny. Yeah. He said, oh, he's driving for him. That's funny. Throwaway comment by Jake. He goes and gets his friend. Yeah. This kid just called you a bitch. Put the headphones on. This kid just called you a bitch. <laughs> This is not it, bro. Oh, he's driving for him. That's funny. Yes, go. He's driving a Ford. That's funny. I would not take that, bro. What he thinks he says is he's driving a Ford. <laughs> he thought he was making fun of his car. I mean, his friend even heard it too. I don't know how they both heard that wrong, but okay. I buy a Beamer tomorrow. All right. <laughs> and even if we were, what a weird response. I could buy a Beamer tomorrow. Cool. <laughs> That's not even what we were talking about, but all right. So like, this is like the first criticism in the video that he thinks we make. Jake didn't even say it. But I'm not a fucking idiot. That <laughs> shit gets me to point B, point A. Exactly. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I could buy a Beamer tomorrow if I really wanted to. Exactly, bro. All right. Exactly. I could go put a sure. down payment on a fucking Tesla, bro. But I'm not a fucking exactly. idiot. Go for it, man. I invested my money. I have- Oh, sorry. You're not supposed to because that's not financially payment. responsible. Yeah, I invested. That's why I have that car. Okay. All of this, we weren't even talking about it. Ah, fuck! Yell again, that's funny, Derek, keep it up. I don't even know, bro. Okay, well, let's keep going. This is going to be making fun of his intelligence. Again, this could be part of a character, but I don't think it is. For who? DoorDash. For who? So here's our prank where they do the DoorDash thing. All right. Oh, over here. Daddy's little cum servant? Cum slurper. Cum oh. I believe, yeah. Gotcha. I, I don't know why I heard that so easily, but- No, it's I, fine. Not that I've ever heard those terms put together before. <laughs> no, it's fine. But that's what I picked up. Bro, I can't- These kids are fucking nerds, bro. I could not watch this Calls shit. Calls is fucking I nerds. I said this when I just filmed a video with Gabby. I hate pranks that are not subtle. It's it's so lame when they're mm. not subtle. That's right. all Wait, like, what, what, what a subtle me, what a subtle me, what a subtle me. Yo, what a subtle me, what a subtle me, what a subtle me, My bro. criticism doesn't land because he has Yo, what a subtle me, what a subtle me, what a subtle me. Uh, subtitle, 
is the correct spelling of He subtle. looked up subtle, S-U-T-T-L-E. That's not to make fun of people that are illiterate. I'm just saying, you should know what I'm saying before you get pissed off. The weight of comedy shipment after deduction of the weight. So he's saying my pranks are light. Wait, is subtle, being subtle, wait. What is that? What is subtle thinking? Careful making note of social divisions, meaning that a subtle thinker be marked by any requirement. Okay, now he's reading he's the right one. He's calling me mental ill, Russ. He read the right one, they said I'm calling him mental ill. Again, he's half joking. I know he is, but Ill. I don't think the whole understanding thing was. So, prank is supposed to What DoorDash employee would ever go into a college class and start- No fucking shit, dumbass. That's the fucking joke, bro. And no fucking shit, dumbass. That's my fucking criticism. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. You know what, bro? Are yelling out whose order they got? You know what? My old criticism: if a prank isn't so, that is not funny because obviously it's a prank. We can tell. They were looking at it and we're saying, "Oh, that's not a real thing that's happening." No one's gonna laugh at it because what's going on? And he says, "No shit, no, do it better." That's my criticism. So yeah, he took that pretty well. I'm clipping around because it's a long reaction. I, I'm not trying to take him out of context. Everything else is just yelling and nonsensical. To be real. <laughs> I got my first strike on YouTube. I'm banned on Twitch. I lost my Twitter, I'm banned on Tinder, Remember I'm banned this on Omega, I'm Omi. <laughs> oh my god! Is that, <laughs> is, is that funny to you, bro? Is that funny, the fact that I lost my career in a week, bro? I, he just doesn't understand. We're not laughing at you losing your career. I'm not laughing. I barely knew anything about him at this point. Maybe now I'm laughing about that. But at the time, I'm laughing about the ridiculousness of the fact that you got banned off of every platform and you were saying it in a braggadocious way. Yo, I'm, I'm banned off of all this shit, bro. Like, shit's crazy. I'm only 17. I'm laughing at that shit. That's funny. <laughs> You're bragging about the fact that you are banned off of every social media platform. But for some reason, you think that we're just laughing at you having not success. And like, that's not what we're that's doing funny, at. Bro, this kid looks like living in his fucking grandma's basement, bro. He thinks it's funny, bro. This kid lives in his grandma's basement. Opposed to you, 18 years old, living in what I imagine is a giant separate house that your parents own with its own ping pong table that you can invite your friends over to. Whatever. He's one to judge because he looks privileged as fuck. How is that funny that a successful young straight male was targeted because young straight male, what are you making this political for, bro? I'm going at your identity. I'm a young straight male too. What are we talking about? Is this part of the character? I don't know. I guarantee you a way he can get out of all this, a way he can get back at this is like, bro, I can't believe you took me seriously. Bro, you're literally playing into it. Like I'm trolling, which like he could do, but like pick an idea. Are you real or not? So just because I'm a straight male, that means social media targets from the platform have to ban me on everything, bro, because I'm a straight, cute Italian male. Never said anything about this. Every pretty motherfucker in the world is just for the he thinks I'm targeting because he's pretty. Just because I'm straight, that means you gotta target me. Really, Twitch? Really? Really, Omi, bro? Just because I'm straight and cute and a male and handsome and can fuck anything out of I believe in the chat, actually, to give credit to some of his viewers, I believe I remember the live chat saying he's not saying that. Although they all mostly just talking shit the entire time. All right, at the same time, his mods are saying, fuck it, copyright strike him. I believe his mod actually does do it. Mod right here, Silva says, say the word and I'll do it. We're just watching his video. We're giving commentary. It's, we're transforming it. They're like, fuck it, take it. Silva, you know what to do. Copyright him right now. He for real stealing Derek's vids. Yeah, that's what we're doing. We're repurposing Derek's vids by themselves. That's what that video was. So I think his, his mod end up does copyright strike it though. We don't, we got too much more. We're gearing up to the tweet. This is where he's calling Jake the tire guy. He's just making fun of Jake again, calling him fat. For Jake probably saying something very innocuous and like not that offensive at him. If Jake said, this guy looks like a fucking Italian bitch boy. Yeah, maybe you can attack him for his weight, like fair game. But our criticisms were not anything about their appearance except one part later where he thinks we're talking about his appearance but we're not he just can't understand what we're saying all right we'll continue so i want to look at the comments real quick bro i'm gonna look at the comments real quick it was an honor disrespecting the epics pranked with you illiterate people not trying to just bully you but when you're coming at us you gotta know how to read <laughs> the, these group of kids who clearly have no comfortable colleges like i can't imagine a co Hold on, this is so funny. I don't want to hear bullshit, bro. <laughs> Even my dumb ass can get the rockers, bro. Go. Okay, so the irony of this, if I need to point it out here, is the criticism in the video was that he's annoying college classes of people that are trying to be there to learn. Which, like, Jake made it. I kind of stand by it a little bit. At the same time, it's only like, you know, a 20 second prank. It's not the biggest deal, but that was the claim. And he says, well, one, it's funny because he can't read. And then two, he looks up the acceptance rate for Rutgers, the school he goes to, 
And since the acceptance rate is higher at 67%, he says, bro, they're all idiots anyway. <laughs> Doesn't matter they're in school, they're idiots. And I could get in there. So it's okay that I disrupt them. The worst point I've ever seen anyone make ever. So theoretically speaking, bro, I have every right to come in the classroom because I was found every single class of high school and I would still be able to get into Rutgers. So theoretically, I have every single right to come into this classroom because I failed every class in high school and I could still make it into this college. One, no, you couldn't. <laughs> and two, you don't have the right. That doesn't give you the right to do that. That's crazy that you think it does. It doesn't actually. And since I can get into University of Miami, I guess I can just go in there every day, just start kicking people's shit, just start chucking backpacks. Hey, professor, fucking tabletop him. I got into this school, so I guess I can do whatever I want, actually. Again, I gotta say, I don't know how much is character. But this part seems pretty real. Uh, at this point, he says he can't look at Jake anymore because he's pissing him off. So he puts this picture of a male model over Jake. Funny, you're all immature. Get out. Oh, this is the, is the same as the first professor. Yes. Yep. The, so they just it went back to the same, the same guy. Yes. Remember the transition? It said next day. Oh, oh, these are the same double doors as before. And I swear that's the teacher. True. So they're going back to the same class, which is honestly so funny. <laughs> Thank you. Thank they you. run out Thank of you. stuff and they're like, hey, you just want to go back to the same class. We said it's really funny that he keeps going back to the same class to annoy them. Probably because the other doors are locked or something. And he says, thank you, as if we're giving him a compliment. Yeah, I can't, is he dissing me? I can't even tell, bro. Is he dissing me, bro? I'm, I'm out of the studio, bro. He can't tell that we're laughing at the ridiculousness of going to the same class again and saying that's funny. And whether I'm saying that the idea of doing that is funny or if I'm calling him funny and giving me a compliment. He can't tell the difference. So he gets kicked out of class. He was a little physical and I liked it. Oh, what? the teacher pushed him out of class. What the fuck? Bro, I, I support the LGBT, but this kid gotta be gay, bro. I support the LGBT, but this kid's gotta be gay, bro. Because Jake made a funny comment about the professor kicking him out. His Isabella! 29 pants through super chat. Here's a super chat he's getting that says copyright strike and get the bag, bro. His chat's ridiculous. Oh my god. Copyright strike IT, get the bag, bro. Smart girl, smart girl. Great lot things to like. You just push them. That's not who reads, dog. Oh, he's, he's not gonna like a bucky set up this. He's gonna hate what Bucky says that bro, watch. Okay, here's a big finale of their whole video is his friend Bucky's getting kicked out and he just said they're gonna hate what Bucky says. <laughs> That's not. Yo, what the fuck? Who said that? Oh my god, yo, I'm pre calling it. Pre calling it. That they're gonna hate what Bucky says. I'm pre calling He's gonna hate what Bucky says. Watch. Damn. You're ugly as shit, bitch. Whoa. What'd I say? He says, You're ugly as shit, bitch, to a girl in the class. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This kid looks like the type of kid, bro, who put a Pokemon. Well, he's about to assault me. I look like the type of kid that used to pick my buggers in class. Okay, well, if that's the still frame you're taking, maybe I didn't. And yeah, he's called me a kid. I'm 24, but yeah, I'm six years older than him, but okay. The fuck? Do you? What? Damn, he couldn't take the heat. <laughs> no, he couldn't. And this kid looked like he got shoved in lockers. The little ass kid. This kid looked like he got shoved in lockers. And also, the most douchebag beta thing in the world is he goes, you're ugly as shit, bitch, and then turns right around to run. Yeah. I mean, what do you want him to do, bro? Swim at a girl? What? Yeah, like, what do you want him to do? Swimming at the girl? No. <laughs> He's like, Who said that? No one responded. Yeah. Classic technique. Just laugh back at someone's laugh in a higher pitch laugh. That makes it really funny. And you get I them. could be wrong. I don't think he knows who the fuck said that. No, I think he's just looking in a general direction. That's why he turned around yeah. so fast. Nah, he's like, yeah, fuck down uh, I'm just going to say. <laughs> exactly. He agrees with us. Oh, this is the crazy part. So what just happened there is his friend Bucky is leaving class, right? He's leaving the class and people in the class didn't find the prank funny. So this girl says to him, you're ugly as shit, you bitch. You're ugly as shit, bitch. And some girl around here randomly said, you're ugly as shit, bitch, to him. Or said, you're ugly. So in his basic state and like they're leaving class because the prank's over, he just says the same exact thing back to her. That's what happened. And we're making fun of the fact that he had no original comeback other than to say the same thing back to the girl. But Derek doesn't understand that because Derek is stupid. <laughs> we don't find you funny. <laughs> yeah. You're ugly as shit. Please leave. <laughs> Bro. I'm quoting what just happened in the video, and he thinks I'm calling his friend ugly. Who are? I'm not lying. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Look, I don't want to say nothing bad about Barbara. He's just pissing the fuck off, bro. I don't know what any of those words were. I'll be honest. I think he called us ugly. I'm not really sure. Yeah, I'll run it back. Who are? I'm not lying. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Oh, also, if you're getting confused, when he's saying Gunther, he's actually talking about Jake. 
<laughs> he doesn't know who either of us are, so he mixes us up a lot, I think. And I think he also said that Jake looks like a guy named Gunther. I think he might be talking about Gunther from Shake It Up. That's the only Gunner I know, unless there's another Gunther. But he's calling Jake Gunther, which is very confusing. <laughs> I can't, is he dissing me or not? I genuinely can't tell if he's dissing Still can't tell. Still can't tell. No, we weren't. <laughs> we weren't dissing you. We're laughing at your dumb pranks, but you can't even tell when we're making fun of you and when we're not. It's crazy. We're nice guys. We aren't just making fun of your looks, believe it or not. You are the entire time calling us fat and gay, but we're not doing that to you. I guess gay is not looks, but you still, you're coming at us. We're not coming at you. You made fun of your content. You got one more thing before we get to the tweet. Like he's reading comments again. Bro, who are these kids? Who are these kids? Jake posts every day. Wait, the collab, wait, wait. I've never heard of a stab, I can't even read this shit, bro. I've always felt bad when people's lives are being ussed up. He said ussed up, used. It's tough because I'm making fun of people that can't read, but I'm doing it because he is so adamant that he's right. Yo, how do I make all my money, bro? I'm not gonna lie all my money, bro. And before he said, I'm not a bitch, I want to copyright strike it, and now he's like, how the fuck do I copyright strike it? <laughs> uh, report. Yo, how do I, I want my money, bro? Yeah, so he's trying to report it. His mod already did it for bro. him. He fucking, uh, harassed Literally streaming him reporting it. Violent, just fit, just Yo, my not, not accurately reporting it. Just showing him live stream doing it. That's crazy. Money, bro, where's my copyright strike? Yo, where's my copyright strike? For what? what? What's the kidding? claim? Yeah, he finds out his copyright, mod already did YouTube it. YouTube copyright notification come. Thank you for submitting a copyright. Silva, you fucking... <laughs> Yo, Silva just fucking, I, don't, I think it was Silva, bro. Silva just fucking, yeah. yeah so his moderator did, did it for him. Bro. I want my money, bro. Run me my rent, bitch. Cool, cool, cool. We got Derek Raz's rent. So after all this, he's pissed at us because he thinks we were calling him ugly. He thinks that we said he drives a Ford. So he doesn't understand our criticisms, which were pretty lighthearted and mostly laughing at the ridiculousness of things. But now we get to the tweet making part because he is pissed. Hey, 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 hey. Funny dummies. Two jerseys. Who the fuck do like, they are? Just yelling, who's the fat fuck? Referring to Jake. Here's where it's like, I don't care if you're doing a character, you're an asshole. Like, we never made fun of your looks, man. Relax. Who's the fat kid? Like, it's not even a joke at this point. It's just, you're just trying to be a dick. Again, he's gonna say it's part of the character and it's an act. So if we take it seriously, then we're the ones getting played. He seems pretty into this. You said I pick my nose? You said I look like the kid that picks his nose? What the fuck was that, Derek? What was that double nose pick? You just tried to pull on us. Yeah, now I'm coming at you, bitch. Yo, you think you slide that shit by us, Derek Grass? Caught in 4K, brother. He was projecting the whole time. What he's trying to do is tag us both in a tweet so he can call us out. Jake, I guess ironically, is banned on Twitter. I forget what he did. <laughs> I'm not Jake, okay? I don't know what he did. I don't condone it if it was bad. I got no idea. I think he probably did some impersonation thing is my guess. He can't find out who Jake is, so he's like looking him up. Or actually he's writing a tweet first. He's writing a tweet, he's all pissed off, he's writing in the background. He wants to tag both of us, but he can't. Hold on, hold on, bro. I, who the fuck, yo, who the fuck this, yo? I'm not gonna lie, bro. I hate, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. This kid pisses me the fuck off. This big, yo, he looks like a transgender, bro. I'm not, I'm not even hate, bro. I support the LGBTQ. He looks like a transgender, bro. I'm not even hate. I support the LGBT. Not even hate. I love LGBT. Yo, this kid's so gay. I love the LGBT. I love the LGBT. But this kid, yo, this guy's gay as fuck. Clearly, you don't fuck with the LGBT if you're gonna use it as an insult. <laughs> Say I got, bro. You're not cancer, bro. I'm not saying. So here's the thing about Jake. Jake has had many knee surgeries throughout his life. Jake has been in and out of a wheelchair for, I think, more than half of his life. So it makes Derek look like a ginormous douchebag <laughs> when he's challenging Jake to fight and finds out this fact. Oh my God. He doesn't have cancer, bro. He's a disability, bro. I mean, bro, who does this kid think he is, bro? All right, fuck that. I'm not, I'm not about to come, I'm about to come So up, then he bro. backs oh, off. <laughs> Looks like such a piece of shit. <laughs> Yo, fight me, fight me. Way to look like a stand-up guy there, Derek. Even Derek is like, after calling him a transgender and gay as fuck and fat and, and all this other shit and calling me and him fat and ugly, he's like, yeah, I should maybe pull back. <laughs> you know so when he comes at me. I'm the fuck, bro. This kid right here, bro, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Who does this kid think he's talking like that, bro? What? Yo, of course you look up and think about my first thing that pops up, too, bro. This kid's a fucking pussy, bro. Like, bro, who the fuck is that? That's him? That's him? 
Well, guess what, bitch? I'm not scared of nothing. I'm right here. Bro. He can be funny sometimes. Like, I'll give it to him. He you follow my Patreon image. Laugh because it was John Cena. Like, he's trying to be funny. I, and that was funny. That was, hey, the first good joke. That's you got to lay off on the other bro. shit, man, because you just, you're fucking all over the place. That shit is crazy, bro. The fact that this kid is so disrespectful, bro, is insane, bro. So disrespectful. We barely said anything. I'll give you two options. Pick wisely. You have 25. And then here's the tweets. He crafts the tweets. I am Derek Gross, bitch. Call my bluff. Your views are all six year old virgins. I got it, bro. Stop playing it. Yo, stop playing it, bro. Damn, bro. Yo, who the Bro, I should piss the fuck off, bro. People think the guys. Who, me? Bro, who the fuck are you, bro? So that's pretty much our saga. Came to me, and then that's where we left off. On the tweets, which is Derek Raz on November 14th, is now a month past, challenging me to box him. Again, I wanted to very badly make a tweet that said, let's do both. And then I backed off. I'm like, you know what? Fuck that. One, I would have loved him to drop the greatest hit single on my fat ass. I would have loved that. He knows nothing about me, and he'd be making his hit single for nothing. It never happened. I was pissed off. The boxing part, I would love to do boxing in the future with anyone but Derek Raz. <laughs> I think the boxing events for YouTube stuff is really fun, and I think at some point in my career, I would actually be down for it, especially with a lot of it doing like charity events and stuff. You know who I don't want to box? Derek Raz. Seems like an unlikable guy that I don't think deserves more attention past this video. Now, that is one response, and then you have people that are in his community, and even probably some of you guys say, Gunner, that's a big ass move. The fuck, Gunner? You pussy? To which my second response is, yeah, sure. What if he kicks my ass? That would suck. <laughs> yeah, true. I don't particularly want to fight an 18 year old and then get slopped. That'd be not fun. And to his community, it would make it look like everything he said was right and virtuous and correct. Fuck that. So not going to box him. That's pretty much it. I don't think he deserves more attention past this video, but that's where I got one more thing pulled up. Because after me and Jake looked at that video, I didn't think that badly of this guy. Again, he misinterprets what we say constantly in the video. My criticisms weren't even that crazy. I think disrupting a college is like not great, but at the same time, he's 18 and like he wasn't a big piece of shit in the video, but like it wasn't like that bad. So like I didn't say much. I made my jokes. I got in and out. That was it. But he misinterpreted. And then his response is what made me think he's a bad person because he said a lot of vitriolic shit out of nowhere. Again, veiled in irony and comedy, but he did. So then it looks at his YouTube, another video. And that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to slam home that he's just an asshole. <laughs> so they got some weird bit. They act like they're security personnel on like uh, a video set for a movie. We're going to watch it. We'll make my point. It's not a very hard point to make. It's just him being a piece of shit. They are acting like bodyguards for a house that's like being filmed at. So they have to go get bodyguard costumes. So they go to Goodwill. We need, we need, yeah, we need some bodyguard suits on your tie, some pants. Call it a day. Excuse me, sir. Do you want to play naked freestyle? Do you want to play naked freestyle? No. No? Are you sure? I'm only 17. Get out of here. You don't want to play naked freestyle? Naked freeze tag, my bad. No. All right. Are you sure you don't like minors? Babe. You don't like the type. Was he flirting with you? <laughs> Dude, I, yeah, it's time. <laughs> I'll do the fake laugh, make fun of. <laughs> Yo, he totally got that old guy <laughs> trying to make him look like a pedophile in public. <laughs> Classic. All right, I've that's COVID mine. right now, Let's and I don't going. want to get any more sicker. You think I look spiffy in this? I think it looks sick. Would you fuck me? You're a little young. He's 18. Okay. Or he's 19, he's, 19. I have two kids his age. Yeah, but it's still legal, I'm though. I'm actually 27. I just turned. And I could ask the same question because I'm actually 16, and the age of consent in New Jersey is 16. 16 year old, a 15 year old, and a 23 year old. 23? Is it a guy or a girl? too old, yes. Is it a girl? Okay, so fuck. No. They're just inappropriately asking people a question in the store and then they don't like give it up. Whatever. Nothing crazy. I mean, nothing crazy. It's fucking annoying as shit and I don't like when people do that, but it's nothing crazy. Okay. I was just told that there's inappropriate things being said by oh, the three of no, you. No, that wasn't us. We just got here. We just walked in the door right now. We're just buying this from Bubby out. No, he pointed you out specifically. Who? A customer. Is a snitch in here? Okay, was anybody saying anything inappropriate? Oh, like, of course on, not. We're all adults. Of course not. If you were, I'm going to evict you. Okay? That's 100% so fine, of course not. let's not get not. snippy with me. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. You kind of are. I, You're no, acting oh, a little arrogant right now. I oh, walked no. up and you were like, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, that wasn't us. We just came here, though. Okay. I think it was the three kids down there that strike on suits. Like, down there. I don't know. What are we doing with the camera? Oh, no, it's not a camera. It's a PS4. You gonna continue to fuck with me? Oh, no, I'm, I'm being they serious. They all do the same shit. They all do the same shit. They all fuck with people. 
that approach them that like aren't even being like they're being such normal, respectful people. This conversation so far is an employee goes up to him and says, you're making some inappropriate comments to our other customers. Is that you guys just lies to her face four times and then asks, is that a camera and says, no, it's a PlayStation 4. So not funny. <laughs> I'm not a pathological liar. That should be his four. She calls him a pathological liar, which he is. We buy this or no? I'm looking at a camera. You're oh. telling me it's a PS4. I'm asking him what he's doing with the camera. Oh, he's not and filming. You're being a jerk. Oh no, I'm just being, I'm, I'm being honest. He's, he's not filming. And she's being so reasonable. She's like, I see a camera. You're telling me it's not a camera. You're kind of being a jerk. She's not being crazy. Like she's being super normal. It's it's like a it's like a lens thing for his PS4. Like it's for the PS4. He just bought that like 20 minutes ago at Best Buy. Still on the PS4. It, it's not a PS4. The PS4. Like he's not he's not filming. It's like, it's like it connects the thing. It's like a Derek, storage you're thing crazy, for the PS4. Man. You're crazy. So we could have more storage and games. We're just gonna buy it. You're telling me that these three are being extremely inappropriate. Oh, no, that wasn't and? us. Oh no. Yeah, we're oh, just cut your losses. Get just leave the store. None of this is funny. You do not talk to my employees the way that you talk to her. Okay. Oh, oh no, that was, that was. All right. Oh, that That's was our bad. That was oh, no, I, 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 I said that was our bed. It was seriously yeah. your bed. You are way old enough to know that that is not uh, how you speak yeah. to a woman. And another customer heard and was standing up for her. Do not come in this store again. Yes, ma'am. Fucking old. I'm only 14. Yeah, now we're only 14. I don't know what she's talking about. Absolutely not. Oh. I have 16 year old triplet girls. I wouldn't let them near you. Oh. I'm only. <laughs> Oh, classic Bucky, his friend. Classic humor joke. I'm actually gay. <laughs> Good one, Bucky. You got him. You don't talk uh, to my staff inappropriately like that. got a crazy like lady on the loose here. <laughs> oh, no. They're Jack Doherty, dude. How many of these fuckers do we have? I hate these kids. <laughs> <laughs> Kids suck. We did the same shit that Jack Doherty's group did. They're like, we got a crazy lady here. We got a crazy fucking Karen lady. You lied to her like 20 times after annoying customers. You don't even know how to conduct yourself in public. Oh, oh no, we can. His dad, is, this asshole. His dad oh. is here. Oh, oh sorry, Megan. Sure. No, yeah, sure. Sure, from Monmouth County, kind of oh, big, big shit around here. Well, yeah, he should know about oh. that yet. Okay. Please, please oh. get away from there. You're sexually yeah. assaulting. Yeah, yeah, that's sexual assault. That's, that's, that's assault. a big camera. Oh, fuck, no, please. That's, no, yeah, it's actually sexual assault. That's we sexual don't feel assault. comfortable. The cops will be here in we'll about be back 15. With the cops. We're calling yeah. the cops on you. Yeah, that's sexual that's assault. Sexual harassment. And harassment. Y'all are 18. Grow the fuck up. This is some 14 year old shit. I give passes for being young, man. I really do. I get being young. But holy shit, man. Grow the fuck up. I get you're trying to be funny. Look to other people that do it right. I'm not going to say everything they do is right, but Jideon and Loaf do it so much better without being such egregious assholes. This poor that's woman was just standing up for her employees. That's all she was doing. All right. That's all I wanted to show you. Again, I don't think they deserves any more attention. If Derek watches, man, I really. Really hope you grow out of this shit. I get you're trying to be funny. You're young. Uh, but man, you have zero regard for other people. It's crazy. You need to understand people when they're talking to you too. Because you didn't understand anything we said in your video. Wasn't actually really coming at you that hard. Mostly he's making jokes about the situation. And you can't tell when people are approaching you asking nicely to please just leave people alone. I don't like moral grandstanding. It's not my thing. But holy shit, man. I think this video is needed. Please drop that fucking hot mixtape. I'm ready for it. On my fat ass. Hey, that was it, guys. First drama ever on the Gunner TV channel.